All right, now we've got our flywheel and our starter clutch put back in place. And uh, so what we need to do is to set the gap for our coil here, the proper gap between the flywheel magnet, which is, happens to be down here at the moment, and the, uh, the coil. According to my Briggs & Stratton book, for this particular model engine is 0 .010 to 0 .014. What I like to do is either take a regular business card or in this case I have an index card and I fold it in half and what I like to do what I like to do is to slide the index card under the coil like this and then we're gonna slide the flywheel around until the magnet causes the coil to drop down and with that in place you want to tighten up the screws snug them up good not too much because that is aluminum back there and then with that tightened up we continue to slide the flywheel around slide the paper out and you have the, the right gap without this actually touching the flywheel. Now we have it properly spaced and we're ready to continue on with the next part of assembling our engine. Alright, now that we've got our new magnetron coil hooked up and our gap set between the flywheel, what I've done is to put the spark plug in the end of the wire and I'm going to check for spark. There's a number of ways of doing this, but one way that's quickest is to make sure that the uh, spark plug is touching a metal surface and then find the magnet here on the flywheel and what we're going to do is just spin it quickly back and forth past the coil and the, with, there should be a spark here if this is good. Now you can't see that on the camera but I can see there's a good spark every time that magnet passes that coil. So I'm happy with the way that's hooked up.